What's up guys, GameRager95 here and welcome to episode 2 of the Academy. This is my Ultimate Team series. I called it the Academy for no apparent reason. And um, yeah, we're going to get started by looking at the uh, trade uh, pile, the transfer list. And we sold a few, most of our players. There are a few others we still need to sell, but I'm probably going to discard a lot of the bronzes because I don't think they'll sell for much. And we do buy these players from the Serie B. Now, the squad I'm building is a Serie B squad. It's a really good squad. A lot of fun, uh, hopefully, to play with. And, um, yeah, we'll take a look at the squad now. So, these are the players here. You've got, um, it's all bronzes, a few shinies here and there. But, um, yeah, we're going to take a look now, starting with the goalkeeper, Kovacic. And uh, you can pause to check out his stats. And uh, at right back, we've got Milani. Centre back, Aquilanti in Prestia. Left back, El Hassan. Then in centre mid, we've got Karkuro. Uh, we've got Di Cecho, and we've got Gali. And then in attacking mid, we've got La Camera. Uh, strikers, we've got Scapuzzi and Girardi. Girardi, 71 pace, uh, 190 centimeters. So he's a really tall player and a really good player to work with, hopefully. Uh, next up, we're going to be looking at the um, other squad that we built. So this squad here is, um, I'm actually going to get rid of all the bronze players in it. Those are going to go into a different team completely. But... Uh, my main aim is to build a team using those three gold starter players that I got. So those are Felipe Caicedo from uh, Lokomotiv Moscow. Then we've got Sertic from Bordeaux. And then we've got at right back Rafinha from uh, Bayern Munich somehow. I have no idea how he's playing there. He's terrible apparently in real life. And um, yeah, so that's, a, that, that's what our aim is. And it's difficult to build because you have here three players who are from three different nations and three different leagues. So they have no link to each other whatsoever. So to build a team between them and get good chemistry is going to be very difficult. But we're going to give it a go and see what happens. So now we go into our trade pile and we get this guy here, Verdi. Now, Verdi cost me 1,000 coins. And I saw a lot of him on the market selling at buy now for 1,500 or 1,400. And I bought it from this card from Ginger FC, uh, which is a pretty good name. And um, yeah, I put him up for 1,500 for six hours. And I go back to the market to take a look at uh, the other versions of him. Now, there are lots of them available for 1,500, as I said. Um, one or two for 1,300 and 1,400, but those will be bought out fairly quickly. And um, you'll see that there are a few available for under 1,000. I think there are three available for under 1,000. And uh, I put this all in full screen mode because it's a lot easier to work with. Um, and for you guys to see it all so uh, yeah we take a look we see quite a few for 1500 and then we put the uh, maximum price not the buy now price at 1000 and we find 450 700 and um, one for like 1000 I think it was the last one I can't remember but then we go back to our trade pile and we check out these players now I bought these De Bruyne's for 1700 and 1500 and they sold on I bought the Koki for 1400 he didn't sell yet Danny for 2000 Verdi for 1000 uh, Inzogbia for 750 Lachazette for 550 and uh, Fair for 400 and they all sold on uh, by the end of this episode now these players that you're seeing here that have got the green lines next to them those are all players for the uh, uh, for the squad that I'm building and they make the squad work somehow um, so hopefully we'll get uh, a few more players in just to fit it in but as you can see we bought another Danny for 1,900 coins and we put him up for 2,200 again uh, so now you're gonna be able to see the squad that I built first of all we sold Danny and Lukoki uh, for some good profit there and uh, we go to the squad now, and this is the squad I built. It's got one shiny player, and that's in Bart Bazooka, and he cost me 1,700 coins. Um, but I reckon he's worth it. He's a five-star skiller, and his price will only go up from now uh, because he can link to Tarapt and Bazooka. Then we've got um, all these guys here that you're seeing. Um, I think the key players really are going to be uh, uh, the Paolo Vinicius at centre-back. We also have the legendary D-Day in goal, and obviously Busufa is going to be very important. And this guy in Doi looked interesting to me. He's got 80 heading and 76 pace or something like that, so he'll be really good. But that's going to be the end of the episode, guys. Uh, I really hope that you've enjoyed uh, this series so far. There's still a bit of building to go, and I've got the early release. So hopefully when that's out in England, uh, I can uh, show you guys some footage and some gameplay of the Academy series. Uh, but yeah, like and subscribe if you enjoyed the episode, and uh, I'll see you all later. Bye-bye.